friends. Hello, our friends. These were sent to us from a subscriber called Charlene. Which you may have heard about and seen in our mail video. Yeah. So the main reason we wanted to do a video on this is because since the beginning of our channel, which feels like a dawn of an age ago. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a lad. People have always asked us why I particularly sketch in red pencils. Let me see if it, because I haven't even opened these yet. See <laughs> It'd be it hilarious if there wasn't a red in there. Ooh. Oh. You might have noticed that a lot of like concept artists, people who do traditional work, tend to sketch in red and what? blue. Mm -hmm. And we get asked quite a lot why this is. My own reasons for it are probably different to the reasons why it was popular in the first place. Yeah. Originally, I've heard that animation artists got really into using blue pencils and there was a specific like shade of blue or something where when they drew their pictures and scanned them in you wouldn't see the blue drafting lines and you'd only see the lines at the The finished over. stuff which is like perfect. Yeah so it's sort of like pre photoshop days it was a way of doing like an underlayer and then you could draw on top with said pencil. Yeah. Now I really like sketching in red and just between you and me guys I think it's because red's my favourite colour. <laughs> It makes my sketches look really cute when they're in red. <laughs> but another reason why I started sketching in red is because I like painting and using markers sometimes as well. And I didn't like the way that the grain lines looked when I drew on top. Mm, yeah, and I yeah. Found I like the way that the red pencil sketch lines look. So it's just a personal preference. It's kind of, I guess, it's part just, of my style. It's just point. aesthetic goals. But if you are someone who doesn't like sketch lines underneath your drawings, you can always use something like a light box. Then you can have like a sketch layer, get a light box or a window or whatever, and then put a piece of paper on top, and then you can like clean it all up. And voila, no sketch lines. Hooray! So and we're showing you how to use look. a window before, guys. It's easy. But the coolest thing about these pencils, and I've really, really wanted to mention this in a video for so long because I've noticed a few people in the comments have been trying this with ordinary pencils and then been upset that the camera. <laughs> these erases. are terrible! They have erasers on the end, every single one. All of them of these do. Colorized pencils. Colorized, colorized pencils all have little erasers on them. Yeah. These are like magic special pencils where <laughs> you can color with them and then you can literally erase. As long as it's not too hard, if you push down really hard, it, you might have a bit of a hard That's time. It. Same you, with pencils. If you're like using these to carve into stone, it's not going to work. <laughs> but we wanted to draw some pictures with them today, because we've never tried to draw a picture entirely with colorized pencils. Yeah, that's true. But first of all, I just really wanted to sum up what they do, because we get so many questions about them. Yeah, but wait, yeah guys, if you're ever curious, it's these. Um, colorized. See? These. I'm not sure if there's any other brands that also do the magic of a raisin coloured pencil, but if there are any, stick them down in the comments. Yeah, because we're always open to like new suggestions and try new art supplies, so if you use anything similar to these, let us know, because we'll, we'll probably make a video on them. Yeah. And now, I think secretly <laughs> off camera, Adam's got the fun job of sharpening all these pencils. <laughs> so here's Adam with his trusty handy dandy <laughs> sharpener. All the fun we have behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, we'll end up cutting out a lot of this footage, but Adam really wanted to share his pain with you. Thumbs up for, for sharpening pencils. Yay, all our pencils are all sharpened. <laughs> my hands! <laughs> that took so long! Oh my god, but hey, the, none of them broke. So I think well, that's we'll good be, news. I think we'll be okay. So do you have any idea what you want to draw? I have. Well, seeing as we have so many colours, right, I do have an idea of someone who is very colourful. Who is it? It's, um, he's very shy, so you have to be very sweet to him, okay? Okay. Go, here, Monty! Here, Monty! Come on, boys! You came to me! <laughs> you guys have been asking so much for Monty recently, so I figured, oh, <laughs> easy boy. I figured because we haven't had, like, anything with Monty in a while, and we have so many colours that match him pretty closely. I'm gonna try and draw Monty and maybe some piñata friends. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Every time we have a rainbow theme now, it'll be a draw Monty special. <laughs> like, why didn't you invite me to the rainbow party? So as you can see, we've got our sketchbooks. <laughs> we've got a beautiful life model. <laughs> keep still! <laughs> Can't laugh, draw me, keep moving. Oh, you're setting him up so that you can draw him. <laughs> it's, keep it's still, really, Monty. Really exciting. <laughs> so what are you drawing? I just want to fill up this page with like a few sketches. So you're going to do like a lot of little different ones? Yeah, I have no idea how I'll end up polishing or rendering them. So which is your good side? This one? Or this one? Oh, that looks really good. 
That looks like, because Monty's in focus and you're blurred behind, it looks like one of those dramatic thumbnails. It's like, this will be the thumbnail of this video. Pinata prank gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I'm excited because I don't like the way that the arm looks. And normally in a video, this is a terrible oh, yeah. thing. But this is a Coleraise video, so you can watch me erase the arm. Look at that. Magic. Look at that, whoa. Gone. Just like a pencil. <laughs> when you first discovered color raised pencils, you were so impressed with the fact that you could just erase a colored pencil. Yeah, because I saw lots of online artists using them. And I was one of those dinguses that thought it was just an ordinary red pencil. So we went out to our local hobby craft and I picked up a Faber-Castell red and blue yeah, pencil. Yeah. Came back and started sketching them and was like, oh, this looks so cute in like the red and blue. And then I went to erase and I was like, what? <laughs> color is doesn't work. But no wonder, because I remember when I was seeing all these artists drawing in red and blue and stuff and the moraisin and stuff, I was like, I'm sure I've tried that as a kid and it didn't work. And I was like, but if other artists are doing <laughs> it, then okay. <laughs> Time to give in to artist peer pressure. Yeah, I felt like I got pranked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be able to talk you through a few sketching tips and techniques Ooh. that I have. Okay. My first draft of what I do is so light that you can basically barely see it. And I just do that until it's all tightened up and I'm happy with the way that it looks. And then I'll push down a lot harder to get like a more finalised sketch. Another cool tip for sketching is if you flip the page and hold it up to the light. It's difficult to see on camera but if you've got a strong enough light source you'll be able to see. Or you might have to push down on your lines a tad harder, but not as hard <laughs> not as too hard. this eye here. And um, that'll basically give you like a reverse image of your drawing. And that's really cool because you might be able to spot some mis like mistakes. It's similar to this when you like flip your canvas in Photoshop, and that's just like a traditional version of it. I also had a friend recently tell me that her way of spotting those kind of mistakes is by holding a drawing upside down. She can sometimes spot mistakes. Spot oh really? I've never even heard of that one before. <laughs> How's your drawing going? I had the idea right. I've been, <laughs> I've been being in like some kind of action movie. He yeah, does, he looks like a ninja. <laughs> yeah. Recently you guys have been asking for Monty like so much. I think like, hey, why not put him in a movie, right? I think he needs to have some form of alliteration. Like, Monty eats a melon. <laughs> the Is that movie. why he's jumping off a building? <laughs> I must eat that melon. <laughs> the melon man's in town. <laughs> We even got sirens. I know, there's a <laughs> siren in the background. He was a pinata with a vendetta against melons. I lost my mother to a melon. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, actually. Maybe his mother got killed by like a rogue melon. And now, now whenever the melon man comes to town, he just, he finds the closest building to jump off after to look dramatic. And then he pursues the melon man. Maybe I could try and put the melon man in here somewhere. And his head could just be a melon. <laughs> So before you get too carried away with melons, because I can tell you're getting very excited here. Yes. Do you have any advice for sketching? Yeah. All I can think about is this man with a big melon head. <laughs> Similar to what you've said, I mean, when... This is going back to when I very first started drawing, guys. When I first started drawing, I would press on the paper way too hard. Like, mm. like That was one of the first like, things I told you like, after. I made a joke earlier about, like, carving it into the paper, but I really did, so... <laughs> He like, pushes down so hard, or at least he used to, <laughs> that if you flip the pages of his sketchbook like this, you could you go through it. two or three, and you'd still get like an imprint. You could make like drawing. a rubbin in it, it'd be the same <laughs> thing. But yeah, just sketch lightly, that alone would be such a huge help to you if you can mm. learn to do that. Like a good exercise for learning to sketch lightly, let me just go to the back of my sketchbook. So try and get that in the habit of going from light and then pushing down darker towards the end Are, of the You stroke. taught me this, I remember this. Because then you're making like a conscious effort to learn to control between your, your light strokes and your darker strokes. Equally, also doing an exercise like this where you do a bunch of like squares and then start off really light, try to do the next one a oh, little like bit gradient. darker, try yeah. to do this one even darker and then try to do this one very, very dark. Now, it might seem so basic and you're like, oh, I don't need to do that. But it's like muscle memory and it's the same as like watching someone do like a really basic exercise on the internet and being like, oh, I can do that. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you've done that workout too. You need to start building like the hand-eye coordination and the more you do little basic silly things like that, eventually it works. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise he was looking like, at me. Why aren't you drawing pinatas? It's time for Melon Man. He's going to be down here. It kind of looks like Monty's got like explosive diarrhea, but that's his tail. It's like <laughs> flapping around. 
He's not like trying to get him with like a diarrhea attack. <laughs> No. I had spicy food last night, Melon Man. Prepare, prepare to meet your maker. Oh. <laughs> spicy food's too much. I need to lay down. And with my sketch at the moment, I'm just literally going round and trying to just like darken up lines. Do you want me to give her a melon themed dress? That'd be cute, yeah. But when you next check in, she might be looking a bit more melony. Can she be a bit evil? Melony! Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome! Melanie, that's perfect. <laughs> that's she, such a good name. I she, bet so many people have already discovered yeah. that one. <laughs> she looks like the kind of person that would throw a melon at someone. Let me have a peek at what you're up to. You want to see what's going on so far? He's confronted Melon Man. He reminds me so much of, uh, is he called Waluigi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, we're going deep now. I think it's really poetic that he has a baseball bat because it's both of their weaknesses. I'm starting to darken up the line so you can actually see it on camera, which is nice. I like so that dress. <laughs> I've got her holding a watermelon. I like watching the way your hand moves when you sketch. You're very sort of fidgety when you sketch. <laughs> well, that's how you draw. You can't keep still. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Imagine trying to draw while doing the robot. <laughs> is that a new challenge that we've just come up with? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm trying to murder you with a pencil in this view. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. What colour is Monty's... Oh dear. What colour... <laughs> just pocked him in the eye. <laughs> what colour is Monty's eye? What colour is that, right? Monty has brown eyes. Oh. You know, someone noticed before, and I'm surprised some of the details that you guys notice. Uh, someone pointed out that Monty's got two different eyes. <laughs> if you look, one of them has a shine and a sparkle in it, and the other one looks a bit dead. <laughs> Hello? How many fingers am I holding up? Maybe it's because you just poked him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a fart where you just had to lay down afterwards? <laughs> we were laid on so many levels. <laughs> it's okay, we've all been there. <laughs> I think you two can speak for yourselves on this one. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Ooh, I see another lady has appeared. <laughs> yeah, it makes me laugh that we've got all these different coloured colorizers and subliminally... You haven't used any others yet? Yeah, I'm still using the red one. Maybe I should try and alternate to a different colour. Is that a blue one? It's lilac, I think. Yeah. Oh, one thing to name, to uh, show you guys, because we always say when we do colour things, these are colour named. It's like vermilion and carmine red and black. But yeah, they have the little names on too, so that's helpful. It's very rare that I'll ever just like leave a drawing as a sketch because I'm someone who really enjoys like the, the really, colour aspect of that. I'm really bad for like sketching something and just leaving it. Whereas like, yeah, that's kind of your style though. You're into a lot more sketchy kind of stuff. So it's fun kind of trying to approach something in a more Adam-y kind of way for a change. <laughs> it's interesting because I've got like the red underneath mm. and it's sort of showing through my purple a little bit which i kind of like it sort of gives it that um you know those like old 3d movies that used to be like red and blue oh and you have the special glasses for him yeah, yeah it's kind of got that effect to it i think you're actually giving him a red nose no it's a slice of watermelon oh i thought you gave him like a wario nose no <laughs> <laughs> it's not Waluigi. It is. It's Waluigi trapped in a melon's body. <laughs> and there's the little skin of the melon there. It's meant to be like a melon nose because he is Melon Man and in no way affiliated with Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's going to be a watermelon, so I need the dark green. Great. There you go. Because <laughs> he's meant to be kind of stripy, like a. I'm going for like a watermelon. Whoa, <laughs> aesthetic. Oh, we're finally getting a melon dress. Yeah, I couldn't resist putting in like a soft little layer of colour. It's not normally the way that I'd usually work, but I think... It looks cute! It's always fun to try new things in Doodle Day 8. And you love using red colourized pencils to give characters red cheeks and red noses and things. I like doing it digitally as well. Oh. I'm gonna steal this green from you. No! Watermelon Man needs that for his face. I've only just realised you've put Monty in a little bandit mask. Well, if I'm going to go out and whack someone with a baseball bat, I don't want people to know who I am. <laughs> and you think that will mask a piñata's identity. <laughs> yeah. It's 
so if we do this, we'd never know who it he was. was. Like, it's like <laughs> Superman and Clark Kent. All the only thing that people could tell was it was the glasses. When he wore glasses, it was Clark Kent, and when he took them off, he was Superman. <laughs> this is one of the most cinematic things you've ever drawn in Doodle Dit. I think it is, yeah. I'm just sat here sketching cute melons. <laughs> I like how he has teeth. <laughs> <laughs> They're like dentures that he stole off somebody. <laughs> he can wear some something blue. He's a janitor. He was a janitor before he was transformed into melon man. He wasn't just a melon. <laughs> that turned into a man. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a melon that decided, you know what, melons don't normally have jobs, so I'm gonna become a janitor. <laughs> gonna Follow your dreams, melon. I'm gonna make my mother proud. <laughs> Can this be his mum? Uh, only if she has a face. I'll give a little... My mother had a big nose and whiskers on her chin. <laughs> well, this can be his mum when she, in her younger days. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like Melon Man's son. <laughs> can that be his son? <laughs> <laughs> She's eating you. <laughs> Melon Man, your son's delicious. <laughs> Timmy, no! <laughs> if you're interested in coloured pencil videos, I'll link another one up here that Ooh. we did with Prismacolors. Here's a button to subscribe. You gonna put it there? Yeah, right next to your face. Next to Melon Man. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe if you want to live. Doodle dead. Doodle dead.